That's the big story. My first guest today is someone who's been Mumbai's top cop, police commissioner there, also been DGP and one of the most respected police officers in the country, and someone whom Sharad Pawar suggested yesterday should head the probe into the allegations of corruption against the Home Minister. Let's speak, as I did a short while ago, to Julio Ribeiro. Listen in to what Mr. Ribeiro had to say. And joining me now is the former Mumbai Police Commissioner and one of India's uh, most well-known police officers and respected police officers, Julio Ribeiro, joins us. Appreciate your joining us, Mr. Ribeiro, here on India Today. The big question uh, to you, Mr. Ribeiro, is uh, Sharad Pawar yesterday mentioned the possibility of you heading a probe uh, into the sensational charges made by the former Police Commissioner Parambir Singh that he... Uh, against Anil Deshmukh, the Home Minister. You seem to have rejected that offer to head a probe. Why? Why do you not want to head a probe into these corruption allegations, sir? Rajdeep, I'm 92 years old. Can you expect expect me uh, to go around uh, making a uh, probe, asking people, questioning them? There is a huge uh, responsibility in that. And I can't, I have not left my house for the last 10 months, ever since this uh, uh, lockdown. And in, in any case, even if there's no lockdown, I'm not able to move around as freely as I was, uh, I used to before. So there's no question of my physical condition does not permit me. And number two, I mean, I'm, I'm thankful for my physical condition in these circumstances because look, uh, th this uh, these allegations are very, very serious. They might be a little exaggerated, I understand. But if any, if the political parties want the police to collect funds, this is a new development. I've never heard about this before in my service. And then I, uh, uh, I would have heard if there was such a demand. And uh, this is the first time I've heard about it. And it appears to be uh, very, very shocking. And... Uh, uh, if, the, if the police leadership is not able to uh, defend or protect their own sub, uh, junior staff, then they are not worth their name. Why are they made leaders? I mean, a leader is supposed to come to the aid of his own people. And uh, this is what uh, Mr. Parambir should have done. Now, he appears to have waited till he was himself shifted out that uh, uh, he made this allegation. Whereas he was told at least four, five, three or four days earlier by the uh, Sachin Vaze, the sharpshooter, and uh, also another inspector called Patel in, in charge of the social service branch. He should have immediately left his house, taken his car, gone to the minister's house and objected. I would have done that and I've done it earlier, for, not for a demand for money, but a demand for, uh, you know, release of uh, of some of, of, a, of a gunda who was going to help them in the election. Because I told the minister that it is not the job of the police to help anyone in elections. That, that I just am uh, not going to allow that. So it is uh, his job to have done that. And if our leadership is not able to do that, then they should step down. This is what I firmly believe. And, uh, the, you, you know, another thing that strikes me in this whole matter, that uh, this uh, Sachin Vazay was reinstated after 13 years of, of being under suspension. He had tried earlier, he had failed. And now, uh, you know, the DGP used to be Subodh Jaiswal, a very, very upright and a very, very uh, uh, good officer. And he was left out, in, uh, and uh, only the commissioner of police and the additional chief secretary home, they seem to have taken the decision to reinstate uh, a, a man who was under suspension, which was, I think, quite abnormal and also illegal, if you go and go into that. So I think the whole thing is so murky that I would not like to get involved in it. So there are two good reasons which I have given you. You're saying, sir? Right. 
you are, you are saying sir that the whole thing is so murky but who do you hold responsible for this police politician nexus that seems to have emerged do you hold the government responsible the police leadership responsible or the specific individuals the home minister or the police commissioner who do you hold responsible for this uh, for this murky business as you are calling it which has left you i'm sure uh, aghast and disappointed the initial fault is of the political class they have been misusing the power of appointments and transfers when they choose the dgp or the or the commissioner of police who are the police leaders and on whom everything depends the the fortune or the uh, or the action or the performance of the force depends on these leaders and if uh, they are chosen in the wrong manner because the it suits the political party in power to appoint someone and not not with an eye to the public good the public wants officers of honesty integrity competence who would look after their safety and their security and if they are, if the choice is made on other grounds then i think this is where all the problem rise arises and the, all this uh, problem of choosing wrong people this is what is causing uh, the, uh, the the entire problem now uh, i know that officers have been actually lobbying for this post you know uh, uh, rajdeep when i joined service uh, i my my uh, bosses is to tell me to be very 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 uh, vigilant about the junior officials sub inspectors of police in charge of police stations to ensure, to see whether they go on lobbying for posts and to and to please for the good of the police force uh, oppose it don't allow it in fact one of my first bosses mr nagarkar told me get ready rivero with your um, suitcase. suitcase be ready at any time with your bag and baggage to leave at a moment but don't agree to this it is the only the junior subordinate ranks who used to do it now ips officers are doing it they are actually lobbying for posts i mean it is such a shame to the service are you come to serve the people or are you serving yourself if you are serving yourself i think it is very very sad and uh, and because of when you uh, lobby and you uh, you uh, you uh, wait for that post yes. and you compete for it in this this manner then you are, you lose your soul and you and you have to do exactly what your benefactors have have uh, uh, ordained so you said that you were you were surprised by what had happened you hadn't heard about this vasuli or extortion there are those who are saying though sir that this has been happening in mumbai for a very long time now and this is now all coming home the chickens are coming home to roost the the well, public statements say, made by parambir singh only reflect one of the worst kept secrets are you really that surprised has this been building up this corruption at the highest level i don't think so as uh, 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 rajdeep i have not heard of a thing like this i would have heard it i mean uh, i i know that the police uh, uh, officers indulge in it that i know and that they have uh, uh, they do it and they often get off with it but uh, that they do it for the political party in power that part of it i have not heard sir should the home minister resign mr ribero should the home minister resign till such time as his name is cleared given the seriousness of the allegation it depends on whom you appoint i mean if it is a judicial inquiry then you will have to do that i presume because i really don't know what to say about this because uh, whether he resigns right. or not the, the truth can i can i because it's not it, it is not something with the subordinates can are involved it's only two or three people and and it is their word against another and of course they right. will they will find out they should be able to find out what is the truth Uh, on on basis of all other uh, evidence sir the 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 larger 
So what? the larger question, Mr. Ribeiro, is also what you raised in an article you wrote last week about encounter cops. You yes. felt that these encounter cops should not be there in the services. They are destroying hierarchy. They are becoming a law unto themselves. Do you believe that that must be implemented at once so that you do not create Frankensteins like Sachin Vase possibly had become? You know, we had a very good DG, uh, commissioner here uh, some time ago, a decade ago or more, Mr. Anami Roy, and he had got rid of all these uh, uh, encounter specialists, including Pradeep Sharma. He had dismissed him under Section 311. And there was another um, encounter specialist called Momin, some officer called Momin. And he had phoned uh, the right. house of, uh, uh, he had phoned Dubai and uh, not Dubai, but uh, Karachi, I think. And uh, he, it was intercepted and he dismissed him that very night. Mr. Roy was a, Mr. Anami Roy was a very, very, um, uh, uh, you know, he, he didn't wait a moment. And in fact, he became quite unpopular, I think, with in the, right. the post for, with the media, with your own people, uh, because they all came to him saying that these are encounter specialists and they are very much required for the security of the people. This is what the uh, the news newsmen came and talked to Mr. To Arami Roy, but he he refused to budge, and they were they were all knocked out. So this. Uh, Pradeep Sharma was knocked out in two, 2008, but in 2017 he was reinstated and right. appointed in Thane Commissionerate, where Mr. Same gentleman, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Parambir Singh, Singh was, the, was the commissioner. Uh, in, incidentally, uh, appointed commissioner out of turn. So then, uh, by, by by Mr. Uh, 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 the, the chief minister at that time, Mr. Uh, Fadnavis's government. Fadnavis, yeah. So, Fadnavis's are, government. This is what happened, and this I think that he was supposed to to do to do what I don't know what work he was asked to do, but uh, um, it was unfortunate. But for two years he remained right. there, and then he left again on his own because he wanted to contest elections on the Shiv Sena ticket. Right. Yes, can I therefore ask you in conclusion, Mr. Ribeiro, as one of the senior most police officers and distinguished police officers, are you feeling today that the entire police uh, force has got corrupted and does that leave you uh, depressed or do you believe these are only a few rotten eggs? Do you believe that there's the entire basket stinks today or do you believe these are only a few rotten eggs in the system, whether they are politicians or police officers? Well, I mean, you know, corruption, if, if you have... Not everybody has got the uh, chance even to be corrupt. So half the force doesn't have the chance. And even those who have, not all of them are, are so greedy. But there are a few greedy people I know, and uh, they are known. And they, some of them are really good. Now, most of these uh, uh, encounter specialists have special qualities. I mean, they are people with courage. They are people with initiative. And they would have been good cops if they were properly um, monitored. But unfortunately, if the monitor himself uh, is not uh, very straight, then you have this problem of, pe of people going out of control. And it is easy for them because of the way that they are treated. For example, this fellow, Sachin Vazir. Sachin Vazir was only an API, but he was reporting directly to the, to the police commissioner. There were six ranks between him. But all were ignored. And do, they, do you think they liked it? They, were, they did not. They were very uh, angry about it, but they couldn't do a thing. And then another thing was that uh, he was uh, given charge of that very uh, important uh, section of the crime branch, which was normally headed by a senior inspector. And he was only an API. Between an API and a senior inspector, there are inspectors. Even they were just brushed aside. These are things that, you know, affect discipline, affect morale, and uh, it is poor leadership, I would say. Very poor right. leadership. So I ask you, sir, again in conclusion, do you believe the politicians have changed who perhaps are asking the policemen to do these things for them? Or has the police leadership changed or have both changed from the time when you were a police officer? Who, has, who, who do you blame in the end, the IPS or the politicians and their greed? 
Both. Or both. Uh, largely both. Because even our officers who, who uh, or lobby for posts and then try to g get into the places where they think that they can make money. Some of them are interested in money. Some are interested only in the in the you know the pomp and splendor of a job. So they they both things are both people are uh, at fault, and they usually come a cropper at the end of their service. And I think that uh, unless the police police officers and the leadership remember that they are part of a service. The Indian police service, the third word is very, very important. And they are servants of the people. They should serve them. And they should give them justice. The people want justice. They don't want anything else. If they give them justice, I think they will always right. be remembered. This is what I've seen in my 36 years in the police. So you have spoken very strongly as always. I hope there is someone out there within both the police and the political hierarchy in Maharashtra and beyond listening to you. I appreciate your joining us. Uh, I can tell you, you are, I know you're 92, but your mind is still uh, as uh, active as ever and your thoughts will echo, I hope, across the country today. Thank you very much, Mr. Ribeiro, for joining me. Thank you. There is still anger in my heart. <laughs> That's... Hello, everyone. This is Rahul Kamal here. Hope you enjoyed this video. For the latest news and analysis, like and subscribe the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated.